Something that you may have noticed about the way we use functions in the course of building our scripts is that they pass output back either to a certain file handle or to each other. This output is known as the return value. For instance, when we say print the length of some string, let's run that in our command line, the result 11 is returned. What's actually happening here is that the length function with the certain argument that we gave to it, that particular string, is evaluated and it returns a certain value. That's the way it works. That return value is then passed to the print function, which prints it to the standard output file handle, in this case, the command line. Our subroutines also can return values, and there's two different ways in which they can do this. Let's have a look at a very simple function here, and we're going to call it divide by 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to refer to the first argument that it's passed and divide that by 10. That's all the function does. It hardly looks like a valid piece of code. We're not asking it to do anything. We're just asking it to evaluate that particular couple of numbers. What happens, though, if we ask Perl to print the return value from divide by 10 and then feed a number as an argument to that particular subroutine that we've just set up. It's able to carry out the division and it returns the number that it came up with to the print function. Now if we did anything else in the meantime, let's say we printed a string after we carried out our division you'll notice that something different has happened. We get the hello that is printed out from within the subroutine, and then we get a 1. Now, how can this be? If we move back to our text editor, we'll see what's happening. When the call to divide by 10 is made, the first thing that happens is that this is evaluated. Then we move on to the next line, and the print function is carried out. So that's how the hello got to the screen. Now the last line of any function automatically returns a value to whatever called that function. Now in this case, the value that's returned is not hello, because hello is actually passed off to standard output. What is returned is the return value of the print function. And the print function returns simply one on success and nothing on failure. So that's where that one came from. The last line returning a value is what's known as an implicit return value. We haven't specified a specific value for the subroutine to return in so many words. We've just let the last line automatically pass back a value to whatever called that subroutine. We'll look at how we can explicitly return a certain value from our subroutine in the next movie.